Hi everybody, this is Anna from Sticker Studio and I will show you how to use our animated mockups. We have added an animated mockups into our freebie section. So you can pause here, download the freebie and you can this way follow along with me in the tutorial steps. So first of all, let's have a look at the folder structure you will receive when you buy one of the mockups. You will receive a zip file, which will contain a folder with three subfolders. The first one is the animation. So the video clip, so to speak, you can check out the length by looking in here. So it's five seconds long. Keep this in mind, you will need this information later. Then you have uh, After Effects ready to use a file. You don't need to use the After Effects file. It's only for those of you who are familiar to After Effects or who have access to After Effects. Um, I will explain later how it works. If you have access to After Effects and you are not afraid to try it out, I highly recommend it because it's super easy. And um, yeah, I will guide you through. And the third one is the Photoshop file. So let's open the Photoshop file first and see how it works. So this is what you will see when you open the Photoshop file. I already prepared the panels I need. This is my layer panel and this is my timeline panel. If you don't see one of these, go to Windows. Here is the timeline panel and here is the layer panel. The layer panel is basically a mirror of the timeline and vice versa. So when you put this down here, you can see it's basically exactly the same. If I remove this first layer, which I will do now because I don't need it, you will see the same exact thing happens in the timeline. So it is basically a layer panel, but with a duration. So the first step is to simply open the design smart object by double clicking on it. Drag and drop your illustration or design into it and adjust the size so it's, it fits perfectly inside of the smart object. Save and close. Here we go. So we are back into our main Photoshop file. And when you move this small arrow around, you will see the animation is already ready. Please keep in mind, we do have a frame color change option here and a wall texture option here. Not every mockup we offer or not every animated mockup we offer contains this option. So please check the description if you want to know if this option is available. If you want to add a wall texture, which is in this case available, you can simply drag and drop the image, the pattern or the texture you like into the file, adjust it and make sure it's inside of this small folder. Here we go. Now you might recognize something is going on in the timeline overview. It is because everything we put inside of this file now starts where this small error begins. So it was here. So the um, texture is placed around here and the duration is five seconds. Since our whole animation is 50 seconds long, we just have to adjust the small image. So it's 50 seconds. Here we go. Just make sure at the end and the beginning that this fits well. If you just want to add some color, you can go down here on the small uh, circle and choose solid color and choose the color you like. And this is basically a plain color you can add to the background. So let's remove this one, leave this one in. And now we will simply export this video. To export the video, you can simply click on these small lines 
click on render video and here we go now select your destination folder it should be somewhere else not inside of the folder you just took the files from because it could mess up the whole structure a bit so please choose another folder somewhere else on your computer and make sure it's set to document size this is the format usually you shouldn't need to change anything here because the file is already prepared so you can use it right away and now click simply on render so this is the final video. As mentioned before, it's a loop. So if you upload it, for example, to Instagram, um, it repeats itself without uh, any interruption. You can now save the file or save it somewhere else. It really depends on your folder structure, it's up to you. I told you to keep in mind the animation is five seconds long. So what I mean by that is that every five seconds the animation repeats itself so if you choose a five seconds 10 seconds 50 seconds 20 seconds and so on animation it's still a smooth loop every mock-up we offer is the loop so it repeats smooth without an interruption this whole thing is set to 50 seconds so you can simply render an animation of 50 seconds if it's too long for your need and you want to render an animation of 10 seconds only, you can simply drag this small thingy here to 10 seconds. Down here, you will see it a bit closer and only render until here, just in case you want a shorter animation. So as mentioned before, this is the folder structure. Let's pretend you put this thingy somewhere else. And now you open the Photoshop file. You will receive this error information. So what you have to do is simply relink the animation. Click on relink. And then simply choose the destination where the animation was put. This shouldn't happen, but in case you know how to react. So now let's see how the After Effects file works. I highly recommend to try it out if you never used After Effects before, but you have access to After Effects on your computer because you have the Creative Cloud. It's really not that hard. I know After Effects can look kind of overwhelming at first, but it's really not super complicated. So let's see. Double click. Just a small explainer. This here is basically the same we had in Photoshop. That's your timeline and your layer panel at the same time. This over here, project, is basically everything that's inside of this file. You don't really have to look into it. It's basically only the file um, parts and uh, layers that are basically in here. The other thing you will need is effect controls. If you don't see this small uh, panel, you can go to Window and click on Effect Controls. So let's go down here. This is our animation. We made it two minutes long, I think. Yeah, two minutes long. So you can decide on your own how long your final video has to be. Let's put our design inside. You can see here's one layer, it's called your design here, the same as in Photoshop, wall texture, the same as in Photoshop, and frame color, the same as in Photoshop. Double click on your design here. And this is basically our layer. I will drag and drop the illustration. And it's a bit too big, so I have to adjust it a bit. Here we go doesn't have to be perfect in this case, but you can now close this panel or you can leave it open. It's up to you. You don't have to save anything. Just leave it as it is. It's automatically in your main part. So as you can see, it looks pretty similar to, uh, to Photoshop. If you now want to add the texture, double click on wall texture and the same as inside of Photoshop, edit 
scale it down in this case, move it around if you like, and it's automatically in your main panel. Here we go. If you want to change the frame color, click on the frame color, go to your effects control, and now you can change the hue, the saturation, or the lightness. If you don't want to see this part, you can simply click on the small eye icon and turn it off. Here we go. Now you can decide how long your video has to be. As mentioned before, our main animation loop is five seconds long. So after five seconds, the loop repeats. So if you want a smooth overall loop, make sure to use five, 10, 15, and so on seconds. So let's say you want to render a 15 seconds long video clip. Go to 15. You will see over here 15. And now press N for end on your keyboard. Now you can see the whole um, ruler over here merge down to 20 seconds. You can of course use it like this, but it's easier to check on the 50 seconds and press N. Here we go. With space on your keyboard, you can play the animation. Let's render. Go to composition. Add render. Here we go. Now, Choose your destination folder over here, output to. And adjust the file settings. The file settings is nothing we adjust. It is in your After Effects settings on your computer. So we don't have any influence in this. I will show you how to change it. So it's perfect for social media, for example. The format should be like H264. The rest can be left like it is over here. That's it. Now click OK and render. So our animation is finished and that's it. I hope you could follow this tutorial well. And if you have any questions, please always feel free to send us an email or if you need support in some way, let us know. We are there for you. We help you with this. And yeah, that's it. I wish you a lot of joy with the mockups and I really hope you try the After Effects part, even if it looks a bit creepy at some point if you're not familiar with After Effects, but you will see it's super easy and not as scary as you might think. Bye!